Hello, Hello. it's September the 8th, three days until... September 11th. (laughs) Welcome to Trusty Hogs, where we talk about our perfect lives and then we solve all your fucking loser problems. Yeah, we do. And we've got an amazing guest. Oh my God, Celia Celia A.B. She's French. She's so French. Say chic. Woohoo. Say chic. Say chic. That means it's chic. There you go. Thank you. Also, um, doesn't have a QU in it, just to see. Mad. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy the episode. <laughs> the fog. Step for the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't. And that's your problem. They'll have guests. And Andrew White on the tech. The trusty hogs, trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. Helen! Okay. First week of September, we're finally able to wear jumpers. We're finally thinking jackets. I think I'm going to be wearing tights and boots soon. My You're in a literal sundress with no bra on. Do but you want to... But it, uh, first of all... <laughs> <laughs> first of all... First of all, you can't just lock down my top. Second of all... um, can't. You can't. Second of all, yes, but I've, I've made a terrible error. It's raining... I like I'm not dressed for the weather. I'm actually really hyped about the fact, the fact that we can wear tights soon. I love wearing tights and boots. I wore tights yesterday. Mm, no gorgeous, joke. Gorgeous. I'll think about you next time I put it's them on. It's gonna be so good, isn't it? It's gonna be so good. I wanted to talk you through some of my plans. Okay, great. It's September. It's a new school year. Let's go. It's a new school year. Obviously, I think famously over the years in this podcast, I am better at taking a break than you. I oh, treat myself 100%. to the holidays. But now you're going to Ibiza. Suddenly yeah. I feel like, well, if Catherine's going on holiday, I should go on three. Okay, good for you. Where are we going? Weekend in Penzance. Nice. Sharing a carriage on the train with my sister, Ooh. my dad and my brother. When does the holidaying start? That's it. Okay. One night in Penzance and one night sleeping on a train to Penzance was the bow. Right, why does... Em look like she's upset. Andrew looks like he's shitting himself. And you don't look happy either. It doesn't sound restful, but I think it's good that you're doing that for your family. So Michael Bauer turned 70. Oh, of course he did. And this is the trip. Is his girlfriend coming? No. Okay. I don't know if she was invited. Oh. Don't do that reaction. I hope she doesn't listen to the podcast. As if she listens to the podcast. Why would If you do do listen, Marie, hello. And I'm glad to hear that you have a very special connection with my father. Please stop it. Stop it. Okay, so um, that's one. Please tell me the others because I need to feel more hope for you. Well, that's it. That's the relaxation holiday because I'm starting my tour. So I'm literally going back to Edinburgh in two weeks. No. (laughs) Don't. I know. And the worst thing is, it's like, I've got such a busy week. I'm doing Edinburgh, Glasgow and Aberystwyth, which for anyone who's international is like the, like as far into Wales as you can get basically on the West Welsh coast. So it's like Edinburgh, Glasgow, Wales, and then coming back and I've got like six hours at home to then go to Penzance. No. And I was like, okay, well, at least I'll rest on Monday and Tuesday. And then, you know, lovely Roz from Excess Malarkey. Yeah. She texted me and she was like, do you want to come do, so Excess Malarkey is a wonderful gig in Manchester. She was like, do you want to do our birthday gig? And I was like, oh, it's a bit of a tricky one. I got a lot of travel that week. And she went, it's going to be a Pokemon trading night as well. So Acaster has just been in Disney World and he is going to come back over and he's in Manchester and he's caught doubles of all these like rare Florida Pokemon for us. So now I've got to go a day early to go to Manchester, stay over. Have you got to? And then, yeah, because it's three new Pokemon, Catherine. But have you got to? Yeah, because otherwise how would I get them? But you could just not have them and just rest. Or we could advertise for Disney. It's your choice. (laughs) You pick. Fine. Okay, good. Have a great time. That's all. So that's my rest. I'm going to get three Pokemon in Manchester, then go to Edinburgh, then go to Glasgow, then go to Aberystwyth, and then go to Penzance. Hey, if if you think about it, it's top and bottom of country. If you're listening and you live in those places, go see Helen on tour. It's a really good fucking show. Oh my God, yes. Please come to my tour. Really, really Um, good. And also, will you be at Soho Theatre at some point? Yes, November. Also, you have to come to the tour because I had my first meeting about it. What do you mean? And I've sold no tickets in Norwich. Oh, None. Norwich. Hey, people, and I've never been, so on, I Norwich. think it's going to be fucking no, devastating. Be, I'll tweet about it, that because people f- from Norwich came to my show and I think if they like me, they'll like you. So I'll tweet. Um, Please, please, if you are in Norfolk or maybe not Suffolk, they're weird there. No offence, hey. Sam. No offence, no offence. Hey. Give me six, am I right? I think you should, do um, some, <laughs> I think you should make little individual videos for each place. It helps. Individual videos? Yeah, it helps. 
Really? Yeah, and then the theatres can promote that on their website. I don't know. Part, okay, part of me thought it'd be quite funny in Norwich for Shelf and I just do it to like the elderly crew. Um, <laughs> yeah, venue. but the, it will, they will still be, but you, you should try to get some um, tickets all. But please, please come to the tour show. Yeah. Um, on the plus side, when we were looking through the tour ticket sales, we were like, oh, Bristol and Brighton have sold really well. And I was like, do you think it's because there's lots of lesbians there listening to the podcast and everyone in the meeting went silent and then just went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. This is amazing. So is there not a lesbian community in Norwich? Mm, I don't know. I'm sure I assume there would I be because wrestling is. with my family is set in Norwich. And also there is because they came to my show. So come on, there has to be. There has to be. There has to be. But anyway, it's going to be great. Your tour is going to be amazing. I have to say I am very pleased to be finished finishing mine. Um, you, wait, you've still got more days? I have one reschedule and of one... Course. Um, I'm going to do one big London date in December. Wait, define big. I can't yet. <gasps> I can't yet, but I'm going to... It's the O2. No. It's the O2, yeah. Andrew. Me and Beyonce, baby. No, um, it's going to be hopefully one, just one big room. I'll support you at the O2. If you're asking, I will support you at no, the O2. No, but actually, maybe you could open for me at the other room. Is it? Is it Wembley? No, it's not Wembley. Can okay. you just stop? Yeah. Can you stop? Is it the Aquarium? Can you stop ruining it? No, no, no. <laughs> you, anything I say will be disappointing now. Okay. I'll let you know when I know. I'll be there. I'll okay, be there. Great. What day? What day? I'll let you know. Okay. Oh, my, oh, my God. God. Jesus. Oh, my God. Get off my dick. Christ. <sighs> That's a really beautiful visual um, for me. Me just like really holding on to Catherine's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my dick. No, I no, like it No, give here. me a dick. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's, Milking it. like. So you need more, you're disgusting. You need more um, rest and that's fine. Maybe maybe when I am finished this big job and you have a little break in your tour, we could go to like a spa for the day? Oh my Question? God. Question? Would you be into that? Would, would you be into it with me? Yeah, so much. Spas are the ones with the pools where you can't like jump in and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. no weeing. I know, but they also have... Everywhere yeah. says no way. But <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Though? There's a nice one in London I could take you to. Oh, the one in Covent Garden called Sanctuary that sell products at Boots. No. Oh, no. Which one? Nice. I've just heard about it. I'll, I'll plan it if you tell me when you're free. I'll surprise you. What well, if we don't do this episode now? What? what? No, not now. Okay, we're not gonna now. Do the, we're going to do Later. the episodes. Yeah, episode. yeah. Oh my god! Also, was it Annie, our, our producer, who gave us um, who gave us the money for a hogs night out, which was so cute in, in Edinburgh. What? Yeah, a gorgeous amount of money, so we could all go out for a night out. Okay. Well, well um, was so, anyone going to let Helen know? Yeah. I, so I was thinking, like, oh, sorry. Yeah, she gave us. <gasps> I know. Okay. I want. I know what I want to do with it. No. What okay. is it? Uh, okay, well, I actually was going to say one thing. Okay, what were you going to suggest? Because I'm not paying for it, and because I know you've really wanted to for a while. Bubba Gum Shrimp. Not Bubba Gum Shrimp. One step up. Rainforest Cafe. I'd be willing to go Rainforest Cafe. <gasps> Emma and Andrew? Andrew would love it. Don't even try it. Like, <laughs> obviously, Andrew yeah, yeah. would fucking lose his mind. And Emma's two years old for all intents and purposes. <laughs> Come on, you'd love the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Staff night out, Rainforest Cafe? Okay, and okay. it's so good. Basically, you go into the dining room and it's like being inside of a jungle with loads of animal animatronics. And then like every five minutes when you're eating, there's a rainstorm and a stampede. Okay, great. Thank five you. minutes. Like, I think so. Have you been I don't to think the... I'll love it, but let's book it. <laughs> Frankenstein bar in Edinburgh. Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. Okay, Frankenstein so let's, let's do that. That would be actually magical. Or we just will book it in. But I feel like um, rest wise, I will, I will sleep when I'm dead. Wow, good for you. You sound like me. Have we swapped? <laughs> I, was, swapped I will sleep when I'm. No, I just think like, granted, I am going on tour, but like, yeah, you know what? I do need to rest. Yeah, I yeah. Do. Hey, it's cool. Hey, oh my god, I meant to ask you. Did you get your vase back? Yes. In one piece. And Sunil Patel loves it. Yes. He yes. does. I'm so proud my of you. My beautiful vase. And then, oh my god, basically, I have to Can tell you this. For context, should we explain? Did I, we already explained. Catherine bought me a vase. Who gives a shit? No, but in Edinburgh, and then I was worried that you wouldn't be able to get it back, and it matches your room. I just, are you keeping it in your room or in this common? The thing, kitschy. Nice. I'm really glad he likes it. Hey, well done. Thank you. I told you I'd buy you some flowers if you got it back, so I will. Can I tell you my thing now? Please. please. Okay. So we get. I love that whenever I'm talking, you are just waiting <laughs> to speak. Yes. Yeah. What am I going? <laughs> what am I going to be doing? Listening? <laughs> huh? Eh? No, never mind. Mm -hmm. I what was what? leave it. Go I on. basic no, Catherine. I was just checking if our guest was here. Go no, on. No, 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 no. Um. <laughs> so I get, I got, I get to London. I get yeah. to London. Very excited yeah. to watch House of Dragon. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like the 200 years before Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Start watching it with little Sunil Patel on the sofa. Try a cuddle. He's not having any of it. Yeah. Really violently pushes me away. Yeah. We get a blackout. What is this? The what? 90s? It was mad. We were in a blackout like for five and a half hours. Off. When? No joke. Like literally like two nights ago. Was the rest of London in this? No, it was just like my area. I'd say like we were in the center of it, Did my area. But the hospital still stayed on for fuck's sake, taking all the electricity. <laughs> that feels, that feels right. That there. feels right to me. So I got out the candles and immediately realized that most of them are scented. So we were living in like some sort of like Christmas vanilla dream. <laughs> And we both got very confused. And then I got really scared because like as soon as I'm in the dark, I just think of like the most scary situations I've ever been really? in my life. Don't you? I, I, I'm going to be chill. So as soon as I'm in the dark, and also gonna remember this is like full on sensory deprivation for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the TV's off, there's no sound, there's no light, and Sunil will not talk yeah, to okay, make that's it better. Fair. Yeah. So as soon as the lights go out and it's power cut, I like grab him and I'm like, you have to announce yourself every room you're going into. You're not allowed to leave until I found candles. Like you cannot, you know what? And I basically put him in the garden like an animal. Yeah. So he couldn't scare me. I immediately opened up a bottle of booze to go sit in the garden <laughs> with him. We managed to figure out some candles and then it was just, it was just horrendous. What I did you drink? Record a leg, strawberry, and then I got acid reflux and I had to have a Rennie. God, you're disgusting. It was a nightmare. Um... And then I tried to have a bath because I thought candles in the bath, it wouldn't feel like I was yeah, in the dark. Yeah. No hot water. Oh, no, that is how that works. Yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, we were very sad about it. We didn't believe it, so we had to go back and try hot water again. Still no hot water. I'm sorry. And then, and then, and then, and then Sunil kept on trying to, like, run away from me and hide. And I yeah. was, like, screaming. Because do you I ever could... do that thing when it goes dark when you just think, oh, I'm what what die. scares me the most in this situation? Where did your brain go? Women in black. Always woman in black. Really? Yeah, because I don't want to see the, I don't want to see the woman in black's face because then your children die. Yeah, that's bad. That, okay, you don't have any children. No, no, but like if I had children. Also, I've got the spider baby. It doesn't feel. <laughs> <laughs> it I've doesn't, got my babies. It doesn't feel like you're gonna have kids anytime soon. You never know. I guess. Hey, how was your sex in Edinburgh? Good withdrawal method all the way. So nine yeah. months from now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, I, you know what? I would actually help you raise a child if you wanted me to. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. Why? Why do you think I need help? Um, just like the child's welfare, and also I think that we'd be good co-parents. I'd have such a robust baby, like it could. It have would like need to be hardy. Another child could sneeze in its face, and it would just be like no stress. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it would just constantly have a cold. <laughs> like, yeah, it would be pretty phlegmy, I'd say. I think I'd have a really bouncy baby as well. I don't imagine yeah. me having, like, a very thin, sickly baby. It wouldn't be a petite bub, no. It'd be, like, a proper big bowel ass. It would be you know a know tall I mean? baby. Yeah, she'd come out with, like, a proper back. Yeah, you know? I agree. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I would love to help with that. I've heard, oh like, the, the first four months when I could actually lift it. I'm going to call her Catherine. <laughs> Don't you dare. Come on, Catherine. Oh, I'm coming, mummy. Don't you dare. Don't you dare call her I Catherine. love you, mummy. I Don't love you, you too, mummy. Don't you dare give that child the love I have been fucking begging you for. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> oh, no. But the thing is, baby, baby, you thick. Yeah, I suppose. Also, loving in Edinburgh, how many people you told that you're six to? Oh, I was really not well, was I? It was I enchanting was like, the amount of time so she went, tired. I'm thick. <laughs> so tired when uh, but the thing is that happened to everyone who was living in your house when you start to like regress because of exhaustion that is when you meet Helen at her point because literally everyone who lives with you was like gotta go do showy and I was like what the fuck you're an old did you notice people. that too yeah yeah Sunil was doing that all the time Sunil or Sunil <laughs> tell us a like, lost game honestly. for him he refers yeah. to every, Jackie Cote yeah. going home to watch TV on Sophie yeah, yeah he's a nightmare so but Mickey Oveman Patrick Spicer Neil O'Walk yeah. real, real Roland why can't I say Neil O'Rourke and Will really Roland know. and Heidi all of them were just sort of like how was showy today yeah you broke them oh you did really we get nice money them. in the bucky you really <laughs> yeah. broke them you did it was amazing it was adorable um, we're going to bring on our guest, which I'm really excited about. Um, as it is new school year, September, yeah. we're all excited. Yeah. Um, what is it that you're looking forward to before Christmas in terms of like your life that isn't work? That isn't work? Oh my God, ten pounds. Okay, and what else? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I should do this now. Go on. Go on. Okay. Catherine knew this and she said it was fine before I get loads of hate online for this. 
I'm going to wait to double check that that's but true. You would actively encourage this. Mm, for okay. everyone that saw my show so far, thank you for coming. At the end of the show, I said that Pancake had died. That was a lie. <laughs> A dramatic, dramatic lie for dramatic, dramatic effect. Lies, for dramatic, for dramatic effect. effect. You encouraged it. No, I did. It's a very funny punchline. Pancake lives on. Oh my god! And oh my god! We're talking about this. We're talking about this. Uh, this isn't just exciting. This. I'm so proud of you, Helen. Are you going to tell them what what happened? What's happening tonight? Tomorrow night? Whenever it's coming out? Oh yeah, but that's work. Oh right, sorry. That's boring. Oh yeah, Pancake's making a TV b- debut tonight, which is last week for you guys listening to this. Because Helen's making her political comedy debut on Late Night Mash. I say Hitler, Pol Pot, and Mariah Carey. Oh, I'm a it's political not be okay. comedian. I'm so proud no, of you. No, I compare myself to Hitler and Pol Pot, right, so okay, it's great. chill. I'm okay. so excited and proud I'm so, of you. But Pancake's going to be on TV. But Pancake's funeral, I say, is the thing I'm most looking forward to because I feel like it's just like, let's get this hamster done in the ground. Hang on. But you- <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? what did I do wrong? Sorry, but it's not dead yet. No, but like, we're there, you know? You're, the thing you're most excited for between now and is Christmas... Is Pancake getting put out of a misery? How is that? That's fucking... Fine, what are you excited about before Christmas, apart from work? Um, apart from work, I'm... Uh, what am I excited about? Putting on a bra, maybe? Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> Fuck you! I don't need one! What would I be wearing a bra for right now? What would it be doing? What would it be doing? I really want you to wear my bra once you've got the gas in. How would how, it would be like a handbag? Yeah. Um, Let's do it. <laughs> I what what am I looking forward to? I'm um, I'm doing a half marathon with Chloe Pets. We'll share a link on how to say. My dad's doing money. the same half marathon. No, yeah, so yeah. why? <laughs> that makes me so happy. Okay, well I'll I'll share. Can I share the link on the Patreon or whatever for yeah, us? Please okay, cool. Send over. And also um. So I'm excited for that because I've actually signed up for half marathons before and not done them. Yeah. I really believe that Chloe Pets is going to get me there. Um, and I'm excited to... Um, I'm really class. excited, based on Edinburgh, to spend more time going to social things and spending time with my friends. I really, really want to prioritise it. You're going to become like a Weatherspoons bitch. I think I'm definitely going to become like a... I just, I just really feel like I, I stay in too much, and I don't know why I do that. And I, I get like overwhelmed. Like I'll, I'll ruin the next day or I'll hate it. But actually, I always have a lovely time. I'm willing to make a bet. I have good friends. That you're either going to become like a Soho theatre hun. I, I could see that for me. Like I, like I really me. see I like that, that for, for you. Or go full Soho house Groucho. I do not make that much money. Go full in. That's not me. No, but you're charming and you could definitely talk your way into a That's lot of That's kind, but I don't really like private members bars. Okay, shall we do Soho Theatre then? You could be there every single night of my run. Not every single... Oh, actually, I will come to a lot of your run. Of course you I will. You come to every of night. Of course I Helen. will. Of course okay. I will. Okay, I love you. Oh, by the way, if you're... um. If you live in London and you didn't catch shows at the Edinburgh Fringe, there are so many amazing shows at Soho Theatre. Like, they basically right. bring all the ones, like, a lot of them that were great to Soho Theatre. And honestly, I saw so many amazing shows at the Fringe. Don't. And there was like, also shit ones. Everyone's just talking about how good the shows sure. were. There were, like, absolute But if people are... Top three? What, what would you recommend they go Top to? three? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. I mean... I can't say it. Leo Reich, I saw it. it was I can't believe I haven't seen it. I cannot believe I haven't it's seen it. It's so fucking good. Okay, great. It I'll cannot try. be overhyped enough. Okay. Um, one that I didn't get to see, but I am going to go see it at Soho, which I'm going to plug anyway, Glenn Moore. Oh my God, me too. Can I come with you? Yes. I, I, he was clashing with me and I love we Glenn always, so like, much. Me and my friends always go to see Glenn together at Soho Theatre. Yes, so, so go. good though. So okay. Good. Can I come? Yes, obviously. Okay. And mm, Two white men so far. Who would be my... Oh, yikes. my God, I'm the worst. Yikes, yikes Helen, I'm the yikes. worst. Yikes. Diversify it, Helen. Yikes. Um, oh, God, it's so hard to pick. There's so many wonderful shows. I mean, Sally is our guest, but I also do want to see her. Yeah, shows. me too. Should we go um, to that? Yeah, because I'd take it for an Edinburgh, but then I couldn't do it. Let's go to that. Sally is great. Great. I, Sally is amazing. Well, so okay. Sally there's, R.A.B. Great. Then that's, Done. That's three really good ones. Done. Um, I absolutely adored Colin Holt's show. <gasps> so the Death of good. I wept... Good. Uh, well, I didn't weep, but I like got a mosh. Oh, me, Andrew, and Mr. White went in February. Yeah, so we good. It's such a beautiful mm-hmm. show. I the person I was with wept, and I had a really lovely time. And also, I am um, gonna say it. I, I don't like sketch, but <laughs> Britney's show is good. Ultimate clash with me, so I need to go see yeah, that. Yeah, I think yeah, you would yeah. really like it. It opens with a musical number and it's very silly. I think you would enjoy. I do love Britney. Um. Also. Hmm, 
There was so much good stuff. Tim, Ke- I know. I mean, uh, Tim, Ke- Tim, Ke- Tim Key's show made me happier than I think I was all fringe. Well, I say Tim Key. Yeah. All wonderful. All wonderful. Yeah. Suge- but just go on the Soho Theatre website. But more importantly, like, just come see us. Yeah, and also if it's on the Soho Theatre, it's probably quite good. You can take a punt on a new act. Like, yeah, but it's also you. You never know. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. We'll see you in a second with our guests. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, it's me, it's Helen, and I'm going on my first tour ever! Woo! Oh my god! This feels so weird. Like, even though I know I said I was gonna do it ages ago, I'm now like, oh my god, I'm actually going on tour. Helen, where are you going? So many places Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberystwyth, Maidenhead, Norwich, Bristol, Manchester, Birmingham, Shrewsbury, Brighton, Cambridge, Nottingham, Oxford, Leeds, York, Liverpool, Leicester, Newcastle, Berlin. London Soho Theatre. Bloody hell. No excuses getting by. No excuses. I saw that show in Edinburgh. I'm going to go see it again in Soho. It's so fucking good. She's a genius. She doesn't need a microphone, but she is good. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's funny. It's loud. Uh, you'll have a lovely time. All the tickets are on my website at helenbauer.co.uk under live. Please come join me on tour and please bring people with you because it's my first tour and it'd be really awkward if it's just me and one heart. Only four and five star reviews? God, I guess it's actually really no. Good. I got a three and a half. Shut up. Okay, yeah, only four and five star reviews. Only four and five star reviews. We love her. I did get a three and a half People from can be one wrong. guy. People and he literally did not wrong. understand the show. And he was like, women were crying. Um, I didn't get it. <laughs> Give a it's shit. a good review. Give a shit. Thank those, you those so things. much for listening to my advert. You come see baby Helen. Poor little Helen. Poor She's little only Helen. four. She's only four. Poor fat Helen. See you there. Thank you so much to all of you, particularly to our executive producers. I love the execs. They're the best. Simon Moore's Guy Goodman, Janina Bautista, Mary Fox, Annie Tonner, Sarah Harkey Deacon, and Oliver Jago. <laughs> also, huge thank you to our producers, Richard Bicknell, Elle, Richard Bold, Neil Redmond, Victoria Hutchinson, Emma Walton, Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke, Kira Leach, Tim and Dom, David Walker, Rachel R, Anthony Conway, Sadie Cashmore, as you say. Yes. Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nix, Zoe, Joe Holmes, Sarah and Molly, Alex Pugh, jo- Josie W, Amy, Cordelia, <gasps> Raya, Fink, Rachel Page, <gasps> Helen A, Tina Lindsay, Sophie Chivers, Chivers, Chivers. How many new, po- new We've producers? got a Helen? We've got a new, oh, so many new Helen? producers. Yeah. Thank we've you. got a Helen. We've got a Helen. Oh my God, we've got a Helen. Do we have a Catherine? We don't no. have a Catherine. <gasps> Isn't that so good? Oh my God, Catherine, this makes my heart so warm. I just spat on this phone. Rose, it's Andrews. So and much. thank you so much to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Literally anything you give us helps us so much to keep making the podcast. And do you know what? We love Rachel making it. Rachel Page. We love making it, what don't we? a great we? name. Raya Fink. Okay. Do we like making the podcast? I love making Please podcasts. Please keep supporting us and have a lovely day. Thank Hi, you. Helen A. Okay. I'm Helen B. That's mental. Mad. If there's a Helen C listening, please join us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. It's me, it's me, it's me. It's you, it's you. Hello, welcome. C'est toi. Mm-hmm. C'est moi. See, Catherine speaks French, so I feel like this could be the moment. Not very well, and I get very intimidated around. Excuse Australia. me, I speak French. Yeah, but uh, your French what? is, like, naturally good. Mm-hmm. Like, Catherine has worked for her French. I did do a degree, Allez. but... Um, hmm. Je parle français. Maybe wow, it. which part of Bordeaux are you from? <laughs> Je voudrais un Big Mac. <laughs> hey, messy Boku. Hey, Pompey. <laughs> Gorgeous. That Stunning. was good. Stunning. Come on. A B, I'm say. actually watching a show that's set in France at the moment. Which one? It's called Help. We Bought a Village. Gorgeous. And it's on 4 OD. I've never heard of this. I think it's just me watching it. I think so too. Because it's new. And then like literally two days ago, Sunil was like, oh, it says it's going to be disappearing off 4 OD in three days. No. I was like, oh, so it is just me watching um, it. It's like a fever dream. <laughs> we got, we've got to finish it. Also, you know what's coming soon is Married at First Sight UK. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh. Right. The season. It started because I went on 4 OD. Yeah. And it's uh, they're already on honeymoons. Fuck off. Okay. Quick, I need to just text several people. Um, They've like, it's literally, like, we've missed so much good. So help, we bought a village. You would die. Okay. So it's a lot in France. There's a bit in Portugal, a bit in Spain. Okay. Mm, and it's James British Bond. people who are like, we could buy a flat in London, but instead we bought a village in France. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and they go to France. And it's usually old people who have worked their whole life for money. And then there's one um, couple on it who have just graduated from Cambridge Uni and they bought a whole village in they've Italy. They've just graduated. Yeah, they've just graduated. <laughs> just do the right. Oh. Just go to the fringe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck off. But they bought a whole village, village in a Italy. Village. But they buy these. Um, they, but like, so there's a couple that bought um, a village in France called Lac de Maison. And they call it Lac de Maison. <laughs> <laughs> and it is incredible <laughs> I cannot recommend it enough and they like it's been their dream for two years and they arrived and France had like so much rainfall overnight that their sewage all overflowed oh my god, oh my god. I've, I've heard about those Italian houses that you can buy for one dollar what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that, along think that there's thing. Something wrong with that? So I think there was a big flood or something. Is oh, that what okay, happened? Okay. And, and now so it's like a population in some regions because like the agricultural regions, people have left because there's no jobs. So they okay. all went to yeah. the city. Okay. So there's like big swathes of like just areas that are just completely unpopulated can like grow and like like wildfires are becoming an increasing problem. So they need mm -hmm. to populate these areas. Whoa, but so you are from one Paris. I am indeed. Excellent. Which doesn't have a wildfire problem. No, the houses are more than one pound. Yes, they yeah. are very <laughs> much so. Pretty big brag there. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got I my finger on the pulse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever someone says Paris, I always just think of um, Ratatouille. Do you oh. think the same? Yeah, I've got a little rat that does stand up for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Could you imagine That's how charming cool. that would be? Absolutely. Every uh, time I see a male comic with a, like, a cap on on stage, I'm like, that's not your material, mate. <laughs> 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 I am right. That is really annoying. So so many male comics that perform with caps on, and now all I'm going to be able to think of is a little rat doing yeah. like man, man, man. My <laughs> girlfriend's such mic. a cunt. <laughs> 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 little mic stand for the rat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be fair, I feel like there's there, that was plausible for everybody at the fringe because I don't know if you, we just came back from the Edinburgh Fringe that we mentioned it, but also I don't know if you know this, but there was a legitimate strike um, by the bin workers, which yeah. consequently meant that the city increasingly became covered and I mean saturated in trash and I don't just mean new comedians I'm talking like actual <laughs> actual trash it was incredible consequently there, what follows trash is rats. ratties rats I loved it Me oh too. my god it adds a bit added a bit of frisson to the it fringe it was apocalyptic it was, it was, was really apocalyptic I, it that took was... me way longer than most people to realise it was like, it was like oh, week man. four I was like what's going on <laughs> what was your favourite garbage pile oh my god my favourite one was um, there was one not far from Palm Mira, mm. and I walk past it. Oh my god, the I things I've seen. I yeah, that was pile. a good one. Catherine, favorite trash pile? Um, there was a mattress outside the uh, Pleasant Stone for a while, under oh, which right. under which rats yeah. appeared to be eating dead rats. Yes. Okay. Oh. My favorite trash pile, um, Nicholson Street, opposite the KFC on the square. <gasps> yes. Because uh, it was all it was trash, bad. but because it was made up of mainly KFC buckets that then became their own bins. And I was like, oh my God, each of these are a house for a different rat. Oh, and it was grim. just bucket, 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 bucket central. And I was so happy. I saw a tweet yeah. by Jess um, Fosterq after she got Love. back and she was just like, so thrilled to be back in London. Did not anticipate that one of the things I'd be most excited about was all the roomy, roomy bins. <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, it's a pretty weird thing to walk oh. down the street and be like, you could put litter in a bin here. So I left on Tuesday and on the, um, the Monday night, Night. There was like the last night with. But say like, you didn't run out on Monday. Oh no, did I left on Monday. I did the Monday. <gasps> you did the last Monday. I the gave fridge? the worst show I've ever. I was so I was hungover, the most hungover I've ever been in my life. My yeah. period had just started. Oh, babe. So the yeah. aircon had broken. No. I called everyone in the audience perverts for coming on the last day. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Cute. Cute. And um, I had. Yeah, it wasn't a good show. Um, sorry to anyone who came to that. But it's their but fault as well. Year. It's their fault. You yeah, come on the last day. Really what do you expect? Monday. First day and last day. What's wrong with you? Come in the middle. Uh -huh. um, and then uh, I was really hungover. And on the last night, at maybe 3 a.m., um, I was with a few comics and we saw the bin men <gasps> approach towards the end. And we all started clapping. There they come over the hill. Yeah. They're, oh, yeah. So the fringe. Actually, yeah. they should make a movie about that. That's stunning. I was so happy. And I didn't recognize them at first. I was like, what's this magical car? <laughs> <laughs> is Incredible. it a barrage? <laughs> and they wow. were singing. They were like, all, they were singing like a musical. They were like, I'm singing. No, in fuck the room. Off. They were, you lied. They were. They were. I You're can literally hear Andrew getting a boner in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> like men coming and singing whilst doing their work. Andrew, are you losing your mind? I love it, especially. They had little like tiny action. shorts as yes. well. <laughs> Stop. No, you're lying. Now you're lying. Now you're lying. No, they were actually singing. I totally. What? No, she's telling They were the actually story. singing. No, yeah. Not about, about the shorts. shorts. And were they like following the garbage truck? Like, no. Yeah, and the rats joined. <laughs> 
when you're a jet, you're a jet. And then they did cats, but rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. There was a bit of that. A bit of jazz hands of the... That's incredible. How many fingers do rats have? Oh, like, <laughs> can we Google that? How many fingers do rats have? I don't like have any fingers. <laughs> I'd imagine five. How many spirits? I'd fingers? imagine five. Four? Four sounds about um, right. Also, it's not, is it fingers? Is it a paw? Is it a digit on a paw? Is it? A, yeah, it could be a paw. These are things that are worth getting right. I, I feel like that's, that looks that looks right. Four? Yeah. Four. So they've got eight, no, 16 in total. So rats can, in theory, rats could do this. Ooh, M. Um. <laughs> so in theory, rats yeah. could do this. Oh, I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, stop it. Both of you, stop it. I hate I don't want to do that. I hate this. You're having hate... a terrible time. You didn't like the bin I don't spray. want to talk about the dexterity My dad rats. used to be a bin man. Aw. Yeah, he now loved he, it. Now he works in sewage. Yeah, but before he was a bin man, he loved it. It was like, days done at like eight. Did they pay well? Like being a bin man? No, he was a bin was man a in the 90s. Oh, like way, oh no, 80s even. Because growing up, we used to have this thing where it was like, do you know how there's rumours that start in the town? Like, bin men are actually on a million pound a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's ridiculous. Um, but those, I totally know those rumours. Like, they're actually earning like a thousand pounds a week. So this is why we shouldn't tip them at Christmas time. Oh my God, what My mum loves what tipping the bin man at Christmas time. Like My dad loves to give them whiskey. No. Yeah, he'll chase them down the road with a bottle of whiskey. My mum chases them down and they're always like really young men. And she's like, here you go. In go, boys. It's just like, what are you doing? You're nearly 70. <laughs> yeah. And she's just there tucking 20 pence into their dick. So like, <laughs> enjoy that, Lex. That's from Santa and me. Under the skin? Mmm. And she like, makes it really good. She's like, I'm in that house. I'm in that house. Just so you know, I imagine your mum like... <laughs> Like oh, pushing, racked. pushing yeah, yeah, your yeah. tits together. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, like yeah. That makes running sense. up to them like this. <laughs> what day oh. is recycling? <laughs> hips clicking, knees clicking. <laughs> hey, some of our hips and knees click. <laughs> some, some yeah. do, some do. Um, but you survived your first fringe, and we're all very proud of you. Well done. You're so good. Well done. Thank what a good you. girl. Uh, well done. Thank you. Did you have a nice yeah. time? Did oh, Madame Good Tit have a nice time? It's really good time. It is just not for you. It's not for you. This isn't for you. This isn't for you. Um, second language, guys. <laughs> no, really impressive fine. when you think about it. It is yeah. so impressive. In, well, listen, I had a good time doing whatever the hell the show was called. And um, and now we've all got to plan our next year's show. No, yeah. fuck off. You do, not you've today. got no, to be you, fully. You do not have to talk about next year until October. Can I no. tell you my, my ID? Yeah. Um, so this is my ID for next year. Show. Hit me. Uh, I'm going to do a pay what you want. And then two weeks before the run, I'm going to buy all the tickets. <laughs> And I'm just gonna buy them like for one pound, so that's like what thirty tickets, thirty pounds. Yeah, not bad. I oh, know that's more, that's more, that's way more than that actually. Yeah, because it's uh, thirty. By but the money goes back to moi, okay. so it's not. I mean, some the the, the place. Will There'd take be some it fees. Him. Okay, um, sure. But then everyone's like, all the industry is like, oh my god, it's sold out. We can't get in. And then like BBC's like, can we come in? I'm like, actually no, I've got Netflix in that day, so you can't. And then so that creates buzz around it. Yeah. The whole time I'm in London. <laughs> And then off the back of the buzz, so a theatre is like, hey, you had a sold out run. We know we haven't seen the show, but obviously everyone loves She's it. A genius. We're going to give you a Soho run. Two months. Two <laughs> back months. To, two months Soho theatre run. Yeah. Then I'll buy all the tickets for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the Apollo's like, wait, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you keep selling out. <laughs> and then in the meantime I love that the Apollo in your mind is like a person. This is Mr. Yeah, Apollo. Like, Mr. Apollo. <laughs> kind of is. Wait, this is crazy. Yeah, it's actually it's one person, it is Mr. Yeah. Apollo. It is Mr. Ant Apollo. And then they go, That's insane. We must give you the Apollo for one night, one night only. Buy all the tickets. I'm gonna do this. This is gonna keep keep going. How do you not lose thousands of pounds? I do. <laughs> Perception wise. But the but, ego is good. But imagine if like you heard of someone, wow, they're selling out. They're selling out everything. But that's fucking genius. Then you get stuff off the back of that. I'm that's telling you, I think they do the smart. same thing at Edinburgh Zoo. Cause they, they, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Explain. Because they tell everyone they've got a Explain. panda. They tell everyone they've got a panda. I need three people that went this month. None of them saw the panda. That's because China wants it back. Uh, it's hidden it in tent. bamboo. And they're like, oh no, it's sleeping. It's sleeping. No, it's and it's like, do you actually have a bear there? China wants, like, the bit, China wants the panda back. They've had it for 10 years, which I think is allowed is as long as they were allowed. We learn about this. But like, I think that like at a zoo, it's very easy to be like, oh, we've got big enclosures because it's really good for the animals. Yeah. Um, so, but they're, they're, they're hiding. They're hiding in the woodland. 
island at the back, but there's actually no animals there. I would and absolutely you're just lie to the entire time. If I owned the zoo, the stuff has come. We've got a unicorn at the back. <laughs> Have you seen the film about building your own zoo? It's called We Bought a Zoo, and it stars Matt Damon and Scarlett Johansson. This is not a joke. We bought a village, we bought a zoo, we bought a town, we bought a... What else do you want? Yeah. I'm very aspirational with Have my Have you just watching. typed in We Bought, and then we you've bought. just... Just how <laughs> people are spending their money. How are people spending their money? I just really like Matt Damon, because he did a really good interview on Graham Norton back in the day, and now I pretend that he does, I'm just all like, I'll watch it. I'll watch it, he's just looking nice I man. I don't love Matt Damon. Why? Remember when he recently wrote that letter, and he was like, oh, one of... Like, hey, the last year, he was like guys is this right he was like oh i had a conversation with my teenager and she convinced me that maybe i should stop using the f word <laughs> and it was like huh? what fuck oh no, no. the other f yeah you like, yeah. always do this well, the, oh, um, come on f word that's what i yeah, thought yeah, as well yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's, no. what, that's what no, i thought yeah. as well the incredibly homophobic slur he was like Fucking hell. yeah we learned from my oh kids my and it was like it's 2021 bro that's not yeah. matt damon is it i just googled matt damon, matt damon f word Okay, yeah. what does it say? Yeah, no, there's several articles That's about exactly it. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Okay, well, we bought a zoo. I mean, I don't think he gets money every time someone watches it. Yeah. And it's about, so he, his wife dies. Awful, awful stuff. Right. And then him and his kids buy a zoo. Sure. In Devon. And the kid just drops out of education. Like, yeah, the kids, kids are getting educated so, on the zoo. What's the investment <laughs> share? How much huh? are the kids putting in? Kids putting in, kids putting in nothing. Wow. But his daughter really reminds um, him of his dead wife. Oh. Ew. And then they, not in, that way, not in that way, not in that way, not in that way. Bloody hell. I don't bloody like hell. It. it sounds awful. It's like and then, really no, bad. it's really good. It and then like a depressed dad. Hansen already works at the zoo in Devon, because why wouldn't sure she? she? does. She does. Sure she She's does. She's just a random gal working at a zoo in like near Plymouth. Sure. No one in England looks like Scarlett Johansson. No, come on. Whoa. No, no one. On. In She's looks right. Like... She's no right. one. No one in France looks like. Well, Scarlett not since '97, since Diana okay. died. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then they they make the zoo over, and then it becomes a success. And I highly recommend it as a film. When when's the last time a zoo became a? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. A zoo became a success. Imagine. Imagine. No, okay. I picture this. You're at a pub with all your friends, and someone goes, "Hey, have you heard of this new successful zoo? <laughs> yeah. We should go check out the successful yeah, zoo in yeah. Death." I, I would say the film is based in it's based on a true story from Devon, Whoa, but the film you, is Zellia. set in America. Fuck wow, you. it was set uh, in America. The film was, yeah. Uh, oh, I can believe it in America. But it's a true story from Devon. Thank you. There we go. Uh, hey, um, thank you for your fact checking, Andrew. I feel validated. So what we do on this podcast, Celia, um, when we're done rambling, is we also solve problems. Um, would you oh, help I us solve? We were going to list zoos that would became you, No, we're not going to do that. Would you help us solve a listener problem? I would love to. Okay, great. Andrew, do you have a problem for us today? I do. I, let me just close these Matt Damon. And then I have a problem for Celia soon. to solve. Oh, can I just Ooh. tell you something? I watched Top Gun Maverick yesterday. Why? Any good? So funny. Why? Yes, and it was so funny. amazing. So funny. Charlie Dinkin described that as a show about a man who wants to fuck a plane more than he does his love interest. And I think that is, for me, why I won't be watching My it. favorite character is the woman in it because she. Like, she doesn't talk like any woman. <laughs> As a, she was. She, she, there's a scene in it where like she flirts with him so much. Yeah. She's, she's like, bit of that, and then she goes, "Why are you flirting with me?" <laughs> to, to, like after flirting with him for like twenty minutes. <laughs> She goes, why are you flirting with yeah, me? Yeah, she's like flirting loads. And then she has this bell that she rings when a man flirts with her. Oh, the flirting bell. The flirting bell. And it's like yeah. the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in your life. And she's meant to work in a bar. She's yeah. like, she's got professional hair and makeup. We've all yeah. seen Coyote Ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, and, um, God, what a sexual awakening that was. Yes, please. Oh, my God. I haven't seen it. Oh, fucking hell. No. Something, to do tonight. Something to do tonight. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, um, especially if you're on a, like, a woman binge, that's a good way to go with it. Coyote ugly. Coyote ugly. Is that like a bar? Water? Cool. We don't serve water! <laughs> <laughs> no, you would really love it. You would love it. It's basically like six whores working in a bar. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the light? It is. Yeah, no, 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 it's funny. It's true. It's true. It's true. Six holes working in a bar. Yeah. Six holes working just in a bar. Just picture 15 year old Catherine losing her mind. I think so, oh yeah. God, yeah. No, truly, they all wear leather and dance on the bar. And I was like, oh my <laughs> fucking God. I'd say, Hello. watch that and then watch Josie and the Pussycats. Oh, Ooh, less, but a double less bill. Of a less of a recommend for that. No, but it's me. more artistry. But I love Top Gun Maverick. I hated the first bit of it. It's like a fake film. It doesn't. It's in like, but they do all the flying themselves. Well, he does. Um, I mean, do you know that Tom Cruise does his own acting? Yeah. <laughs> and his own. And his own. He blew the plane. 
<laughs> Did he? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be the big deal of the film. Again, I don't give a shit because I didn't watch it and I don't care for him. And I do think Scientology is. I mad. really find him so weird. I saw I, there's a stand up that did a bit about how we need to stop pretending that Tom Cruise is hot, and I haven't stopped thinking about that. Oh no, I agree. Why were we ever? We certainly need to stop pretending he's not in a cult. Mm-hmm. Oh, Scientology's a really funny one, isn't it? It's mm-hmm. really bad. The buildings look so pretty, though. But it's Do like it's like aggressively abusive. Did you see the cult. one in Edinburgh? Yeah, it's like, by, it's by the just kebab the corridor. shop. Yeah, by the yeah by the kebab. Thank you, Sally. We could have said by the like I don't know bookshop or something. <laughs> it's also near a bookshop, but yeah, I know it because it's by the kebab shop. Yes, <laughs> that can cut to me in Edinburgh every morning in a kebab outside the Scientology <laughs> centre. <laughs> <laughs> they want to change their life choices beside a kebab shop. That's so mean because they always have those signs outside, don't they? Where they're yeah. like, "Do you hate your life?" And it's like, "Fuck off!" I'm trying to eat my. Pre- <laughs> I don't hate my life. I'm having a kebab. Yeah, that's so funny. Kebab. Cults like talk like 14 year olds on Twitter. <laughs> like, yeah. they're like, "I'm so depressed." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like me are on you, Twitter now. Are you a okay? depressed whore? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes! Do you have a problem? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's hear it. Uh, well, as we're back in London, it is a London-based problem. Ooh. I love London problems. Is it there's not enough rats here? Because there are if you look for them. <laughs> is it that the Elizabeth line probably goes there now? Uh, it's from E. This Hi, E. Uh, hi, Trusty Hogs. Hello. My favourite podcast, my favourite people. <gasps> Stop. Thank you, Andrew, for including that. Very that felt nice. Amazing. I like compliments. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I was wondering if you could help me. I've got we'll a place try. on my dream master's course in London. I found a house to live in with a good friend and their partner. I'm so, so, so excited, but I'm worried I won't be able to enjoy it because I won't have any money. I'm moving there with very little to my name and I'll have to get a job when I get there. Yeah. How can I enjoy myself and have the money uh, to live? Will this just work itself out or are there tricks to living in London and having a good time? I hope you've all survived Edinburgh. Lots of love. E. Oh, that's such a nice... It's a really nice... First of all, congratulations, say, This sounds fucking sick. Well done, you. You have a place to live. You have friends to live with. You have a course on something that you really want to do and you will absolutely be able to get a job. There's so many jobs mm-hmm. in London, you'll be fine. Yeah. Um, so first of all, that part of it will sort itself out pretty quickly. Um, um, I, there are very simple things you can do in I, London to save money. I was going to say, I um, I think we all... St- well, certainly, like I know I was in London making like pittance and trying to be a stand-up comic oh big yeah time. yeah um should we do some tips on ways to save money yes. in london mine would be often things look longer on the tube map than they actually are and it's actually not that long a walk like it looks like it's ages away but it's maybe so we're, and also when you move here first it's a really nice way to get to know the city and save money mm-hmm. um the other is cook at home as much as you can that's it yeah carry lunch your own food box, with you baby. Yep. lunch box is the way um but also i think the cool thing about this city is there's so many places where you can meet people if you're like meeting new friends for a walk or for an outdoor like hang in the park rather than places you have to go eat. Yeah. I think the food is what gets you is when you pay for food out, you're like, fuck. I was about to say, yeah. yeah, like I think obviously if London is expensive. Yes, the rent is expensive and like travel is expensive. But when it comes to actually things to do, you don't need money like you do in a small town. Yeah. Because like all the museums are free. Yeah. Like it's you can go see like Imperial War Museum, like all the portrait galleries, they're all like an absolute bargain. If you want to pick me up, don't go to floor four or five of Imperial War Museum though, because it's a lot <laughs> of genocide and it's like, it's not a fun day. Very yeah. Good very good. Um, You'll spend the end of spending money on chocolate and wine after. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, there is so much fun stuff you can do for very little. And um, then just be smart about your choices. Like, if you want to go for the cinema, then buy insurance by Meerkat for like a pound. Yeah. For like one day going to like, I don't know, Paris. What? Call back? Oh. <laughs> that worked, that worked. And then you can go for like two for one with or people. Open yeah. an account with Lloyd's and you can choose your benefit as I get the View Cinema ticket six a year. I also think like every in every borough in London there's a Lidl. Yeah. Um so like get to know your Lidl. Get Lidl, to know your Lidl. Get to know, <laughs> yeah. so right. Get to know your Lidl. Like that, the thing is with London, I think a lot of the time that makes it expensive is how convenient it is to go to the most expensive shop because there's yeah. more of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, so like, if you like walk 15 minutes out of the way, you will find a Lidl or an Aldi. There's also um, probably an outdoor gym. Yes. You don't have to join for membership of a gym. Yes, and also like I think that it's also about finding your priorities. So for example, I prefer spending money on my gym than I do going out mm-hmm. because I know that so my gym is is quite expensive but not oh, that yeah because you do swimming you do yeah swimming gyms, but yeah. like the, the that's the cost of three takeaways for me in a month and I know that that makes me happier too yeah 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 that makes so sense. so I think as well and also like the thing is London is expensive it's about to get more expensive as well with the energy yeah. bill thing so 
the fact like you said that you're staying with friends and you've got a place that's that's 60 percent of what makes happiness in london i think is being with people that you like yeah um, also you don't have to drink i know that's yeah. a really boring option but you can go to the pub and get a like lime and soda and not yeah. get into the round system and actually oh no 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 you do have to drink you can get little no, like alcoholic bottles and you put them under your tip no, and you if you have and a then garden you just pour it into your drink yeah that's fine that's also, one thing in france that we do a lot more than what i found in england mm -hmm. is that we have you have people come over yeah and, yeah, yeah. and that that saves you so much money you Agreed. have like a group of six or seven people Agreed. and you all Big buy your little time. snacks whereas in in england it feels like you'd go to the pub and then and you spend maybe 40 quid also, yeah, I would say like when I was first in London and extremely poor, I always went places with a backpack because I think if it's not nailed down, it's fair game. Mm. So, um, for example, <laughs> toilet well, paper. I didn't think I, I paid for say, for three what years. Say, me yeah. too. I never bought Lear roll. I yeah. always had a bag, and if it wasn't nailed down, it was going in my bag. And that's mm -hmm. how I got yeah. all Lear roll. Hand soap, mm -hmm. hand lotion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All, ha but I've never paid for Lear roll for the first three years. There will oh, any bathroom you go into in a, um, in a hotel or a restaurant or a university usually has some rolls still there. Oh. Yeah, well, oh. you can just walk into hotel lobbies, yeah. use their Wi Fi for free, and just sit there all day. Yeah. I need to recommend a cinema. I have a membership. Um for Peck and uh, for, uh, Peck and Plex is a good shout That's but if you are in if you fancy yourself a bit like a, a cheap fancy yeah. <laughs> um, I got a lifestyle membership at the Prince Charles which is 60 quid so I also good. little fact forgot I bought one bought another one so <laughs> I'm gonna, I've got two lifetime memberships and what does that allow you to I'm do? gonna live forever <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, so basically you get um, you get those big discounts on tickets and every week mm. they do one pound screenings Oh, cool. So if you fancy yourself, like I've watched so many films when I was like coming out of my breakup for yeah. one pound and yeah. it's such a cheap way yeah. to, and it feels fancy because it is, it's mm -hmm. Leicester Square, isn't it? That's so yeah. so good. The other thing I would say is actually when you first get here, I think when I first got to London, I'd like set myself up at a gym, set myself up with things. And then I was like, this doesn't actually fit the life that I now have. Yeah. So maybe just like do your course, get a job and let that passion get into a rhythm yes. first. Um, don't beat yourself up about like not already being like having loads of friends and having a gym. Yeah. Just, like try to figure out what your life would look like and then accommodate around that for things that you might need to spend money on. But also just allow yourself to be in London. You're doing a master's. You're going to be very busy and stressed. But like there are a lot of things that like just think like, oh my God, I'm in this city that people like dream traveling the world to go and see. Yeah. Just fucking pop in a podcast and go for a walk around Hyde Park. My yeah. biggest Download Pokemon Go, it's free. And you can catch so <sighs> many... No, please, please don't be a bitch right now. Stop being a bitch. Stop it. I just think that maybe she might, or they might want to make friends. Download yeah. Pokemon and have Go sex. and then add me <laughs> as a friend on there. Don't you? have sex. Uh -huh. Catch Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, my biggest random recommendation and... This is how I knew that I'd lived here long enough. Now, I haven't yes. been here that long. Is um, getting the bus over the bridge by the BFI and Waterloo got, Bridge. Waterloo Gorgeous. Bridge. Oh my god! Oh, Fun fact about Waterloo like, Bridge: the only every bridge time. in London built oh, by good. women. Every so time, oh. listen to a nice bit of like Courtney Barnett or something, and then and then I'm like, oh. is Courtney Barnett a New Zealand slash Australian? Oh, I don't singer. Know. Why? How is it built by women? Like, what do you mean it was the the what? Waterloo Bridge is the only bridge in London um, built by women? No women were allowed wow. to build any of the others. Are you sure? No. Okay. Just it's because it was it was it was the construction started um, at the beginning of one of the world wars, but then all the men left and oh, they needed to finish it. That's so so cool. um, women actually finished it and did it. Women With always their finish tiny it. Hands? With their tiny little hands. With their little tiny hands. And they built a bridge. Oh, so dainty. But that's just this a little fun which, fact for how everyone. How did I know which direction to build it in? They asked a man. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. What a relief. They had a couple of men that stayed behind. Good. Well, yeah. I will also be able to offer you a guided tour of of London. Um, Nelson's Column. Yeah, very nice. In, in, what, in, in Trafalgar Square is facing the direction of his ship. Yeah, mm. or okay. I think walking around in London is so fun, and especially, especially like, because obviously we've just we've all come back from Edinburgh. Sorry to mention it again, uh, but in Edinburgh you walk around all the time, yeah. and every time I come back to London, I want to start doing that more. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Um, I think walking is the way, especially to save money. I walked everywhere the first few years I lived here, oh. and it's also meant that I didn't have to join a gym because it was like exercise. And yeah, I just think that's the way. If to you want yeah. to walk to something fun that's close to us right now. There is actually a city farm, a six minute walk from a where song. we are right now. Oh. City farm. I've got to a city farm. Yeah, just around the corner. Have, maybe he's got it, your hands will work there. Let's take these. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Matt, you've been such a nice guest. Thank you so much for coming on our podcast. Whoop, 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 whoop. Before you go, several things. We'll be coming to see you at Soho Theatre. Where where can people come see you then? And when are you on? I will be figuring out the dates next week. So okay, great. Keep, and keep then folks where good. will people find them? Uh, on my Instagram. Uh, which Follow is Celia on at Instagram and Twitter. A B Celia. How are they spelling Celia? C E L Y A. Great. And do you have a website? I don't because I'm scared that no one will visit it. So no, I've, that's I've never fair. So You're just so much younger than us. I'm like, <laughs> well, how do you etch your date into stone then? Please Come on. Follow Celia on Instagram and Twitter. Her Twitter is one of the funniest Twitters out there. It's very I good. I cannot recommend it. Is it also it AB Celia? It is also AB Celia. Great. Also, follow me. Excuse me? What? Sorry, mm. follow Bawa. me. Huh? Bawa. At Helen B A. Actually, unfollow me and follow Helen. Thank what? you. Why? Why are we following unfollow you? Follow Let's Catherine. follow follow Bo unfollow both of us. How about you follow Catherine? No, I'm fine. Let's go. Uh, like Catherine this, Bohart. This is actually about and how about you follow <laughs> Stand Up Andrew? Actually, let's all like just follow M. <laughs> let's yeah. all let's and all. How go. about you follow <laughs> M back to her house? No, how about no, that? No, no, no. Helen, He's Helen will text address, you the address. Yeah, Would be. Jesus Christ. Actually, I don't have M's address. Don't give it to her. Do I not give it, it to her. I regret ever doing so. Um, follow Celia on Twitter and Instagram. Go see her show. It's always theater. We'll be there. We can't wait to see it. And hey, watch out. She's a very good, very, very good stand-up comedian. You're going to see her everywhere. Thank you. One more time for Celia AB, everybody. Thank, Thank you, Celia AB. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.